today, number 10, the Holy Catholic Church celebrates the feast of St. Leo I. St. Leo the Great, also known as Pope Leo I, was born in Tuscany, Italy, into a Roman aristocratic family. His response to the call of the Lord transformed him into one of the greatest popes of Christian history. In fact, he was the first pope to be given the title, the Great. Details pertaining to Leo's place of birth are not known, but it is believed his ancestors come from Tuscany. Saint Leo the Great became a very well-known deacon of the church by 431, serving the church under the pontificate of Pope Celestine I. Leo was widely respected for his love for the Lord, intelligence, and persuasive nature. He was also gifted in bringing reconciliation between disputing groups of Christians. That is why he was often sent out to settle disputes, both secular and theological. Pope Leo was deeply dedicated to his service as Pope. He saw himself as privileged to sit in the chair of St. Peter as a servant of the servants of God. He worked diligently as Peter's successor. Over time, Leo became known as one of the best administrative powers of the ancient church. But he was so much more. During his reign, he tirelessly fought to preserve the unity of the church and its faith and to ensure the safety of his people against invasions from armies which sought to destroy the church and the Christian influence and culture which brought to bear. Pope Leo I was a great defender of the orthodox teaching of the Catholic Church and protected the full deposit of faith. The whole church is still indebted to him for this. During the same period, some Eastern Christians began questioning the teaching of the Church concerning the relationship between Jesus, humanity and his divinity and how to articulate this mystery of the Christian Church. Along with his dynamic faith and outstanding theological wisdom, Pope Leo I was also courageous. He led Rome's defense against Attila, the Huns' barbarian invasion on Italy in 452 by taking the role of peacemaker. Leo died on number 10, 461. He wished to be buried as close as possible to St. Peter's tomb. His body was first laid in the entrance of St. Peter's Basilica, but was later moved inside the Basilica in 688. Pope Leo I's papacy has been described as one of the most important in the church history. Nearly 100 sermons and 150 letters of Leo I has been preserved. One of them is still to this day used in the office of reading on Christmas. In 1754, Pope Benedict XIV proclaimed Leo I a doctor of the church. Pope Leo I faithfully and unequivocally held to the belief that everything he did and said as Pope represented Jesus Christ and St. Peter. He discharged his office and vocation with dynamic faith, great pastoral care and excellence. Let's pray. St. Leo I, pray for us.